Hey everyone, this is Josh Brunthold, and I am back at you making another, let's say, an SEO hacks video. Um, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can actually get a do follow backlink from Google to your Google My Business listing, your GMB. So, for the video, to get this, you will, the only requirements to have are a Gmail account. So a Google email account. You actually have to have a Google My Business, a GMB listing. So if you do not have one, after you make your Google uh, email, your Gmail account, you will go to uh, business.google.com. It'll bring you to a page like this or something similar. Um, you can sign in with your Gmail account and you can go ahead and make your listing. Uh, this video is not going to be about optimizing your listing or making a listing so if that is something that you have interest in comment below and let me know and I can make a video about it now with this hack it's actually gonna be you're gonna get this backlink from Google my maps and Google my maps is just another Google property and you can actually get to it from your Google Drive so inside your Google Drive uh, or if you're on if you're signed into your email anywhere that you see the Google Apps, the little four squares here, you can click it, go into your drive, or if you're signed in, you can go to drive.google.com. Um, and then once you're in here, into your drive, you can click New, More, and then Google My Maps. It's right there. Or just right click, More, and Google My Maps. Now, just to show you how this, uh, is going to crumble right here. This is an old My Maps listing. So if I click into that, uh, I do not have this domain. This is an old GMB listing now. So, and if we come over here, and also this is also not going to be a video about making a My Maps either, uh, just because this hack doesn't it doesn't go into it doesn't need to go into how to make a my map or anything. So if that's something else you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but for this, if you click here, and now this was added to this my map. This was the company, TPC Carpet Cleaning. So as you see, it just has TPC Carpet Cleaning here, um, a link to the old domain, um, this red box on the outside, I actually have a Chrome extension. It's called NoFollow, I believe. It's a blue little uh, chain link. I'll link that in the um, description below. Uh, it's a pretty cool plugin for Chrome. What it does is, if you have it and you have it enabled, any hyperlink, so any link that you can actually click on that has a red box on the outside, that will um, indicate that it is a NoFollow link. So if there is no red box on the outside, of the of the hyperlink um, it's actually a do follow link so this is an old one and as you see there's a no follow link here and what we're actually looking for is when we actually are gonna click in here let's see so if we just go to the my map and you search for whatever your whatever your niche, your, uh, your niche is whatever vertical that you're in um, just click carpet cleaning now these green dots, these indicate um, GMB listings that actually have a physical address tied to the listing in the dashboard. So when you actually go in and you make your Google My Business um, listing, which here I'll give you the back end of this one. So right here, this is the info page, the info tab in your Google My Business. Now here you you fill out your name, your your categories, your business location. So right here, this has none. So what this does is if you actually click here and, and also the uh, Google has changed this a little bit. It didn't used to look like this. They're now moving from um, like you can just add the location and they're actually this, this is new, the service area. Uh, I'm not going to dive into that, but um, so how we get that that do follow backlink is you actually have to have a physical address in here. Now, 
if you don't have one in here that's fine you'll still have a google my business listing it will um it, it, it can still show in the map and then the map pack um let me get here let's just go for water damage restoration just the austin so just for example if we click in here to the map all of the red pin markers indicate another gmb listing now the way that you get the red on there is you have this part an actual physical number address location so that you uh, you would have filled that out uh, shoot address city state zip and then it would have your street address and then that would populate the pen marker on this so if we're hovering over no, these are ads um, so look so if we hover over some of these this total restoration of Texas over on the map you can actually see total restoration of Texas 5.0 35 reviews showing the pen marker now if we come up to this one, Austin water damage restoration, no pin marker. Now that's because they do not have an address filled out on this back end. Now, like I said, which is fine. They're still showing up in the maps. Um, the reason why you might may not want a physical address right here is because maybe you are operating your business out of your home and you don't want your actual home address showing on the map as a pin um, or maybe you are it's a legion property or or anything else like that um, now the thing about the my maps is that so when we typed in our, our vertical carpet cleaning the green that showed up and all these over here these all have the physical address now to get the do follow link if you click on this see how this one is different see how it had the website and the view in Google Maps and actually it's looking like you can actually get a backlink to your actual site too um, so it's a double whammy so if we click out of that and we click back on this listing where if you would just add it manually um, doesn't say view in Google Maps and it doesn't have the do follow link on our web page that's because this is actually pulling from your GMB listing and it's actually populating your Google my business listing onto the my maps if you're searching so in the case that you actually wanted it you would have your physical address filled out here then you could come into a my maps search for your vertical or search for your company it would come on there then you would hit add to maps so now this Stanley steamer right here it would be on this my map and then the cool thing about it is is say that you did have you were working from home and you didn't want your business on the map um, after you actually put in your address and actually I'll change it right here let's just change it just to give you an example uh, okay so that says pending most of the time it'll say pending but it'll update here in a few so if we actually go back to the map and let's go ahead and just We'll search it here and again in a second. So you see how it's not showing over here on the green pins. Now, if we go ahead, since it's been a second now, click it. Okay, we're still not showing. Let's go ahead and trash this one. Refresh. Still not showing. 
Let's actually go ahead and refresh the map. <laughs> All right, bear with me one second. Let's see, okay. So it doesn't say pending anymore. Let's go back to the map again because it should be pulling it right there. So it's got it in the back end. And now it's not showing it still. Let me create a new my map and let's see if that works. So again, to create the my map. Just go ahead and click on it, create and share. Where's the location? Around in here somewhere. Carpet cleaning again. Okay, there we go. Here it is, TPC carpet cleaning on here. Remember, on the other my map, my map, <laughs> uh, it wasn't populating. So now it is. So now if we click on this, and that could have either been it just hadn't updated yet on Google itself, um, or the, the fact that we made that new my map, maybe the, the old one. Just, let's, see, let's try it again for Google's. Yeah, it's still not working. So if for any reason that you were on the same my map for some reason, and you went back to it and it just kept not populating, go ahead and just make a new my map, and then it was showing up. So then again, like okay, so my the website actually isn't showing up here like this one because there's actually not a website tied to this. That's an old domain. So if you had your actually your your actual um domain, it would show in there too and looking like you can get a backlink to your site and to your Google My Business listing. Now, like I said, you add that to the map and then if you so let's go ahead and Name this my new GMB my map just to show you something. So we've added our GMB listing because it's populating here now to this my map. Now look, this is the cool part because if you didn't want your listing to be showing on at the actual Google Maps, you can actually after you've tied it to that my map, you can actually go back in here, blow this out. Hit apply. Now your actual street address is not in here anymore. But it will stick to this my map because when you made it, you made it on the current Google map that Google was, however it's working there. Whatever it's doing, it's not going to take this backlink off. So that's kind of cool. So that's the little hack. So you can actually have it, or you can get it on a my map. And then there's many other things that you can do. Like I said, this video isn't about optimizing your my map. Um, if you, like I said, if you want something like that, I can make another video showing you how to do it, give you some tips and some some other things that you can do with it. And then, because the cool thing is, is after you have this and it's all optimized, what you can do is you can take this this map. You can you can actually click share here change this to be public which it already is and then you just get your shareable link or just uh, let's see embed to my site and then you can take this embed code and put it out on different gigs or <clears throat> embed it on your own uh, properties and that's just going to spread all around the internet depending on what you're going to do with this my map and um it's only going to help boost your rankings for your possibly your site and your your gym B listing. So if this is something that you guys thought was pretty cool, um, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, comment on it, like it, whatever you got to do on YouTube here. Um, and if you want to know more or anything else that you guys have questions about, just uh, put them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. 
So that is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. Um, and that's it. Thanks.